Wiz is a quirky isometric platform game that was released in 1995 on the Amiga and PC. Then later on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 96 and the Sega Saturn and Sony PlayStation in 1997. The game didn't do so well and wasn't very popular, so I would like to invite you to take Wiz for a spin and see what you missed out on. Wiz, the star of this madcap game, is a rabbit dressed in a waistcoat and a top hat. He looks like a magician but is clearly based on both the white rabbit and the mad hatter from Alice in Wonderland. Which is fitting seeing as he spends the entire game racing against the clock. The storyline starts with Wiz competing in a hot air balloon race against a rat that looks like an old detective. The rat, being a cheating scumbag, uses a rifle to shoot Wiz's balloon, sending him down to earth. On the family friendly Sony PlayStation 1, he sends off a bird to pack his balloon instead of using a gun. What ensues is a high speed dash through a selection of colorful cartoony stages such as floating forests, beaches, snow capped ice worlds and stages filled with gambling set in a classic parlor games type world. Wiz can run, jump and perform a Tasmanian devil style tornado move that kills enemies. The worst thing about his only attack move is that it will cost you your health points until a certain point where your health is so low that it won't drain anymore. If you're running out of health you can collect pickups that your enemies leave behind when you spin them right round baby right round. Although you shouldn't pick up the blue ones. His main goal is simply to reach the exit where the hot air balloon is waiting for him. Along the way colored blocks need to be collected to allow Wiz to spin dash his way through the corresponding colored walls. Many buttons will need to be pressed in order to start elevators or shift the platforms to allow access. Optional bonuses come in form of flags, keys that open chests, diamonds, and even rocket ships that can be launched at the tap of a nearby button. There are 9 levels in total using 4 unique level designs. The graphics are eye candy and well designed, except for some minor details which are forgivable. All levels contain easy puzzle elements and some shortcuts or detours. It's actually very fun to explore the levels. The game is really colorful and the VGA graphics are great. Even the background elements are awesome. You have to get used to the controls. The isometric shape of the game makes it difficult sometimes to walk into a direction you like. But once you've played it for a while, you should have no issues or whatsoever controlling Wiz. It's a pain in the ass that your attack button is the same as your jump key. When you move in a direction and press the space button you make a jump. So if you want to move in spinning on an enemy you should stand still, press space and move in its direction to kill it. If you don't do this fast enough the tables are turned and we stop spinning while you move in on it and the enemy will be killing you. The most useful collectible is the hourglass which awards you extra time and boy are you going to need it. Although you will need to fight off foes such as lizards, penguins and walking eggs using your spin dash, the main enemy is time. The game gives you a strict time limit to reach the level exit and with only a few hourglasses located on each stage it leaves you with almost no room for error. In fact the game is exceptionally difficult and you will need to know a level off by heart in order to complete it with any time to spare. I've played this game a lot when I was a youngster so I know most of it by heart. I'm not having any trouble finding my way through to the exit, although I still discover new areas and secrets almost every time I play it. Some of the enemies are colored in red and white, meaning that you should avoid them at any costs because touching them will drain your health very fast. They are immune to your attacks and will always follow a strict path. This makes it easier to avoid them. Besides that you got a lot of other strange enemies varying to ground gnomes, stoned purple dragons, crazy jesters, pirates that suffer from stereotyping, sharks and evil eskimos. 
There is no safe option in the game, nor are there passwords to continue where you left off last time. You have to complete it in one session. The game can be finished within one hour if you manage to find all of the exits within time. There are no end level bosses or boss stages. You only need to find the finish of a level and that's it. Don't let the difficulty level put you off though. As a whiz is pretty good fun. And a nice change from a traditional 2D platformer. The graphics are very appealing and the music is accompanying your rushed adventure. The music is up tempo and very fitting with the level themes. It's really cheerful. The sounds are nice too. When you murder someone by tornado attacking, it sounds like you get a pie in the face. After finishing all the levels, there's a cutscene showing Wiz is back competing in the race against the pedophilic clothed rat and wins the two-man race. Well, whoop de doo we showed him that cheaters are losers. Thank you for watching and please let me know what your memories are on this fantastic game and what you like or dislike about it. And don't forget to subscribe and check out my other reviews in Dutch and English.